Hi there, I'm Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you a layout I made for Hey Little Magpie using Pink Fresh Studio some days. This layout was totally inspired by a couple of little teacups that I found in their ephemera pack. I also used a lot of their elements pack on this layout so I'm just showing you some of the 12x12 papers and I decide to use this flowery one which is called Fresh Flowers as my base. So this piece of thick white cardstock I've cut down so I think it's around uh, 11 and a quarter inches square and using just some a little bit of water and some acrylic paints I start to paint an ombre background. I've put a couple of bits of ephemera at the top of my glass mat there just to remind me of the shade of yellow that the uh, elements are so I can keep the painting keeping with the colours used in the range. So I'm just turning this round just trying to stretch that colour across. I'm going for a rough square shape. I'm not too worried um, how neat it is. I quite like the feathered edges. That's why I'm using quite a wide brush but when I put this dark colour on it just feels very dark to start with but um, I think I work on blending it in. This I, I like this way of using paint. I've started to use acrylic paint a lot more recently. I've, I've been concentrating on watercolours but actually for a technique like this as long as the cardstock is quite thick it actually works quite well and dries quite quickly because particularly if you're short, for, short of time or feeling inspired you want to keep moving or keep the layout going so by using acrylics it doesn't take too long for it to dry off. So I'm just blending some white back in across so that uh, that dark yellow on the left at the moment isn't too harsh. And I'm liking the way that it's looking. Uh, it's not till uh, I started to put this video together I noticed the yellow on the kitchen roll, in fact they're lemons, a bit like the uh, ephemera in this range so it all blends in. So now that the cardstock is dry I'm actually going to gut this uh, pattern paper as I, I really like it. It's also the one with the big numbers on the back if you've seen that, big yellow numbers. So if I can keep hold of some of it I will to use on later layouts. I'm leaving a, big, a decent margin so that I can actually stick the um, cardstock down and be able to just lift the edges so it doesn't feel very flat. So I'm just going to use a little bit of wet glue. I find that wet glue is easier for something like this so that I can actually, you still got that manoeuvrability um, rather than uh, using some sticky tape. So as I say I'm just lifting the edges a little bit all the way around just making sure that's secured. So this is the photograph that I started with inspired by the two teacups as I say a picture of my son and I celebrating VE Day in the summer of 2020. I'm, I'm slowing there because I'm thinking yes it was definitely last summer um, and all of Brits were encouraged to have garden parties for VE Day and we were actually sitting in our garden in beautiful sunshine on the 8th of May drinking gin out of teacups. In fact they're actually uh, the china that we had as a wedding present because the 8th of May not only being VE Day it was also my wedding anniversary. So it just seemed fitting that we would be remembering and um, toasting the fallen whilst uh, using our wedding china. So I digress. So using the 6x6 paper pad I come back in, cut a couple that I like the colour of to back my photograph. So using the elements pack which mainly contained flowers and fruit, lemons mainly, I look at um, doing like a cascade down above the photo and below but overlapping it as well. Um, coming down the page. There's lots of bits and pieces to choose from, some lovely flowers, all quite muted tones, yellows, pinks, like a peachy orange. I really like uh, the elements and ephemera in this range, really nice choices. Um, lots of different colours actually and uh, I have made some other layouts from this range and they are um, completely different. But I really wanted to get the lemons in as well as the flowers. As I say we were drinking gin so I think the lemons are totally appropriate so I'm aiming to tuck a few of those in as well as I go along. So I'm just enjoying the process of 
picking out the bits that I like. I keep putting things on the right. I'm aiming not to have anything down the paint on the right, but any piece that I think I might use later on, I add there. So I've also added, using the alphabets, the title, which is T for two, um, and I've popped that on some vellum so that actually I can put it on a little bit of foam and just raise it up because all the flowers and lemons, a lot of those are on foam too, so I wanted to create a bit more of a balance. So I'm just going in and adding a few more small flowers, just filling any gaps that I see. I've added a tag to the right of my photo, and on that I've added both the teacups, and they're on foam, I think they've got pride of place, so I'm just bringing in all the other embellishments that are in this range, just to see if there's anything else that I like that would fit Got a mini title uh, at the top left, it just says loving it and I've punched a hole in the left hand side of that, that is to match the way there's a hole in the, t in the base of the tag, just to make them marry up a little bit more. So I'm now coming in with enamel dots just to put in the centres of all the flowers. I feel like it's um, really come together really quite easily and I love the way it looks. I will add some journaling off camera before I take the final photographs just explaining uh, when these were taken. Here's the main image and the close-ups too. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and give this layout a thumbs up and join me later in the month as I will share more videos and project live talk throughs with you. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out not only Hey Little Magpie, but the Pink Fresh Studio Some Days range. Bye now.